Absolutely, my man. It's always a very special time of the year when we once again just shine the spotlight on the father of our nation. Once again, Tata Madiba. Looking forward to Mandela Day tomorrow and how South Africa is spending their 67 minutes. Now, South Africa, well, Expresso actually uh, made sure to spend our 67 minutes very, very wisely throughout the course of this week. Earlier on, we showed you what Graham, Zoe, uh, Zoe and Zola got up to. Right now, Ilana, actually, she went through to Elsie's River to the Nazareth Old Age Home and she had a whole lot of fun. There was laughter involved. There was music, even some magic. Check it out. <laughs> Spending an afternoon at Nazareth House for the elderly in Elsie's River brought Elana back to the town that nurtured her musical talents. Supported by Team Expresso, the Cape Argus, and entertainment by Afro Dizzy Act, they got the party started. <laughs> myself that there's two things I want to do in life. I want to have positive thoughts and I want to give. And when I think of Mandela Month and Mandela Day, uh, there's no better way of just honoring this month by giving. It's also no better giving to people who you know. Uh, I know this area because this is where I had my talent nurtured. I started playing piano in this area. I started performing in this area. I started uh, being on stage in the church in Alsis River. So what better way to come back to Alsis River to, to give back. Mandela emphasized the importance of acknowledging the elderly for it is by their wisdom that we learn. He said a society that does not value its older people denies its roots and endangers its future. And as we pass, we find it important that people remember where their roots are from and especially the elderly. The elderly are often forgotten. They're, they're the forgotten children really from the old generation. And it's important for people to come and see that they're still alive and they're still young and there's still a spark inside of them. Now this, this is only 10 rand, and as you know in today's world, 10 rand isn't worth much anymore. So, so what we'll do is I'll give it a fold like this, we'll uh, squeeze it like this, and it should change into something a little bit bigger. There you go. I think to spend time with the elderly, you know, people think um, the, the, the old people don't need that much entertainment, which is not true actually. I think they just need it just as much as the young people. So to spread the magic with them is just as much fun as doing it for younger people. I chose to spend my 67 minutes at Nazareth House because I don't get to spend time with my grandparents anymore. They've passed away a good couple of years ago and it's nice to just be around knowing that they are still out there. They might not have their own loved ones. They come to visit them or anything. And this is my, my way of giving to them that I can't give to my own grandparents. And just to see them smile and be happy all the time, it's a joy to me. And action! There could be no doubt that residents and staff from Elsie's River enjoyed the afternoon. Meeting Alana from their favourite breakfast TV show is certainly a story for the grandkids. I think it's wonderful and you really made my day. I never had a face makeup in my life. So... <laughs> and I'm sure all of us enjoyed you today. Why not spend your 67 minutes at an old age home? You may find that although appearances age, hearts remain young forever.